and watch what's going on. So eventually we can put something like this perhaps at a hyena den where the hyenas just ignore it completely and then we're able to have almost a sort of 24 hour view if you like of the hyenas at their own angle without them doing you know one of the things they do when they're we're at hyena dens is they they come up to the to the car when they little they bite the oil caps and we all think it's quite cute and it's quite fun and it is and i have enjoyed countless sightings like that but it's not the objective of what we're doing here we're trying to observe nature we don't want necessarily to interact with it so this is just a great opportunity for us to see if this isn't another way of doing that. Now he's completely ig ignoring Ronald. Mm, sorry about that. Now at Wild Guy you're wondering if getting him used to human scent won't affect his wild behavior. That Rover I don't think does smell, I suppose it smells slightly of human but I think you'll find it smells much more strongly of plastic and gaffer tape um, and the rubber of the tracks and that sort of thing. The idea is not to get him used to human smell at all. It's just to get him used to, uh, it's, yeah, okay, well, whatever that thing smells like, it's to get him used to having it around. And human smell he will get much more strongly from the vehicles filled with tourists um, and also from our presence on foot far far more than he would from the rover I can try and move backwards David shall I do that well that'll be a little bit easier and I won't have to lie down in the car I know he's moving he's moving let's just let him move he's gonna go back to the shade I think don't lie down there it's very close by He's just going to have a quick look at Ronald. I do think that there's an element of sociality in this interaction. I think that Hosanna is a particularly social leopard, as I've said before. I think he likes interacting with things, and I think that's what's going on here. And this thing that he's interacting with is being far less as unpleasant to him than any of the other leopards he comes across which growl and hiss at him. Very lovely. All right, we're going to go from the sublime to the ridiculous from a leopard to a lizard.